Rocky, ngayong araw, May 25, ay idineklara ni Pangulong Duterte na national holiday bilang pakikiisa na rin sa mga kapatid nating Muslim na ginugunita ang Eid al-Fitr o ang pagkatapos ng Ramadan at ng kanilang pag-aayuno. Ngunit taliwas sa mga nakaraang selebrasyon kung saan-saan ay, uh, ay uh, sama-sama ngayon, no? Nag- nagsasalo ang komunidad, bawat komunidad, para magsagawa, magsaya, iba-iba ang naging pagdiriwang ngayon taon uh, dahil nga sa COVID-19. Makakapanayam natin ngayon si Attorney Said Amen Panga Rungan, ang kalihim ng National Commission on Muslim Filipinos, Aid Mubarak, sir. Kumusta po kayo? Uh, Aid Mubarak, uh, Secretary Martin, and uh, Yusik uh, Rati. Dahil sa ipinagbabawal ang mass gathering sa ilalim ng community quarantine guidelines na ipinatutupad sa bansa, can you explain to us the general situation kung paano, eh kahit pa paano, ay iraos po ang pagdiriwang ng Eid fitir ng mga Muslim communities sa bansa? Uh, this year's uh, observance of Ramadan uh, is really unprecedented in uh, contemporary times because uh, uh, our mosques are closed, uh, public congregation prayers are suspended, and family gatherings are regulated in the whole of government uh, fight to save lives from uh, COVID-19. Uh, we have issued uh, several advisories to our Muslim population. You know, we have some 12 million Muslims in the Philippines uh, regarding uh, the prohibition on uh, mass gathering at the start of uh, the uh, pandemic. Uh, suspending uh, all congregation pr- prayers and uh, relig- religious mass gatherings uh, nationwide. Uh, there were hollow of protests from our uh, Muslim sector because, uh, you know, we Muslims uh, pray five times a day. And uh, during uh, Ramadan, uh, we have two additional uh, long uh, night prayers, uh, the Tarawi and the uh, Tajud uh, during Laylatul Qadr uh, in the last 10 days of uh, Ramadan. Kaya medyo mahirap tanggapin ng ating mga kapatid na mga Muslim ang uh, prohibition on uh, religious mass gathering. Alhamdulillah, we were able to appease their apprehensions and anxieties and our Muslim population cooperated. They obeyed our authorities and throughout the uh, period uh, ng Ramadan, sarado yung ating mga moske and uh, I'm happy to inform our uh, fellow men that uh, this paid off because uh, so far uh, we know of only around 10 fatalities na Muslim Filipinos sa uh, COVID-19. Napakababa ng fatalities. Many of our Muslim provinces and uh, cities uh, were COVID-free. Uh, yung mga reported fatalities only ay nasa Marawi and uh, Lano del Sur, I think uh, tatlo, and uh, four or five sa Cagayan de Oro, and two, maybe around ten na uh, fatalities lang ang recorded. Kaya ako po ay uh, nagagalak at uh, we are celebrating uh, Idol Fitter uh, in... Uh, an atmosphere na although hindi na gaya ng dati na nagsasalo-salo ang lahat ng mga Muslim Muslims sa Pilipinas, ngayon ay uh, uh, sa bahay lang uh, nag-pray at uh, doon din nag-celebrate sa bahay. We have uh, issued the advisory to pray idol fitter and uh, uh, kutba at home. Uh, which was officiated uh, by uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Jul Kipri Wadi, the UP Islamic Institute of uh, uh, Islamic Studies. And I am thankful to PCO, to Secretary Andenar, for uh, uh, covering this uh, uh, event. 
by IBC TB13 or 15. Opo, attorney, uh, magandang araw po. Uh, bigyan daan ko lang po yung uh, tanong mula sa Salam Radio. Uh, ano daw po ang mga initiatives of the Commission for Locally Stranded Individuals? Uh, may mga na-stranded na mga individuals uh, like yung mga returning uh, Islamic scholars from Saudi Arabia. There were around 47 and uh, we accommodated them at the uh, central office of the National Commission on Muslim Filipinos. Uh, until now, I think they're still there. Uh, Alhamdulillah, they tested negative uh, from uh, COVID-19 and now we are arranging for their uh, return to uh, Mindanao. There were also several uh, tablics uh, Muslim tablics who were stranded in different parts of the country, in Sambuanga, in Marawi, in uh, Mindoro, and uh, we were able to uh, provide them assistance. Then, Attorney, pinagpupunungan na umano ng IATF kung papayagan na po ba ang mga religious gathering sa ilalim ng GCQ. Ano po ang masasabi nyo tungkol dito? Uh, alam po ninyo, we Muslims pray shoulder to shoulder. Dikit na dikit kami pag nagpa-pray kami. And we are also aligned in one row. Uh, yan talaga ang general rule. But uh, applying the uh, Islamic principle of necessity and uh, emergency, uh, I think uh, we can uh, relax this rule and uh, practice uh, uh, social distancing. Uh, nangyari na ito sa mga ibang uh, countries during the celebration of Idol Fitter sa Berlin in Germany. They have uh, 400 mosques there and one of the mosques uh, with the capacity of 150 could not uh, accommodate all of them kasi uh, because of the requirement ng uh, social distancing of uh, at least 1.5 uh, meters. So ang nangyari, yung mosque na yon uh, could only accommodate uh, 50 uh, uh, Muslim ano, uh, fitfalls. Uh, and uh, yung iba, yung 100, uh, they were accommodated in the nearby church. So it is a magnificent uh, display of uh, uh, interfaith uh, cooperation. Doon sila nagsimba sa church during Idol Peter. The same thing in uh, Thailand. They allowed the uh, prayer there, ng idol fitter, but merong social distancing na uh, 1.5 uh, meters. I think uh, with the low uh, mortality rate in the Philippines sa mga Muslims, uh, we are inclined to recommend uh, to uh, allow the prayers inside the mosque after the uh, 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 lockdown. Uh, we have a meeting uh, tomorrow in the, uh, Malacanang, ang IATF, and uh, we are likely to recommend the uh, reopening of the mosque, especially in those areas na may GCQ. Meron po nagtatanong, Secretary, kung matutuloy paraw ang Hajj Pilgrim o Pilgrimage O hindi na? At paano daw po ang mga nakabayad na? Yes. Uh, I advise uh, our people uh, that uh, merong communication ang Saudi Ministry of Hajj and Omra uh, ad advising us to wait for their uh, formal announcement uh, after the Ramadan. So anytime now, baka magpahayag ang Saudi Hajj Ministry kung matutuloy ang uh, Hajj. Although may mga inside information na they are considering two options, they will uh, allow the Hajj to proceed, uh, but under certain uh, restrictions, uh, say uh, uh, reducing the quota of every country by 50%. So our quota this year is 9,000. Uh, under that uh, situation, baka reduce ng to 4,500 lang. 
and then only those who will uh, test uh, negative will be allowed to go. Of course, yung mga elderly at saka yung mga youngsters will not be allowed to uh, uh, go to the Hajj. That is one option and of course the second option is uh, to forego, to stop the uh, uh, pilgrimage this year. So, hinihintay natin yung announcement uh, from the Saudi Hajj Ministry. Yung mga nakabayad naman, walang problema. Uh, their payment is intact. Uh, nasa opisina, sa depository bank ng NCMF. And if uh, the decision of the Saudi Hajj Ministry is to forego the pilgrimage, then we can immediately uh, refund the amounts paid. Well, Attorney uh, Pangarungan mula po sa National Commission on Muslim Filipinos, muli po Aid Mubarak po sa inyo.